Let's shift quickly to the House of Legislature Parliament, where Komala Kluche, our parliamentary correspondent, has given us indications that there seems to be some confusion over the supposed vetting of some judges. Joining us now from Parliament is our correspondent, Komala, to give us an update on that development. Komala, very good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining us. So what exactly is the confusion of the minority regarding the vetting of the judges? So after the speaker had referred just about a week or so ago, uh, the nomination of some two judges to the Supreme Court, and this we understand is a replacement of the very zone. The speaker did indicate that, yes, of course, a thorough work needs to be done. But for the new standing orders that they needed to take their time to be able to run with this. In fact, the speaker insisted they needed to go with the new standing orders. Now, we got a message this morning uh, uh, inviting the, the media. And this is the message at the instance of the vice chairman, who is also the, um, the, the, the deputy majority leader, Madam Patricia PJ, inviting the press to the vetting of the nominees. In fact, just when the press was about to get ready to go, then the minority uh, had called the media to walk to the sixth floor where the vetting was going to be happening and indicated that there was no decision taken on vetting the nominees today. In fact, the speaker had insisted yesterday that the House needed to adjourn tonight because the uh, both uh, uh, first deputy and the second deputy are out of the country on uh, some international assignment. The speaker himself is leaving tonight for an international assignment. And so they were not going to see it beyond today. But this vetting, which was supposed to have been done whilst the House was uh, uh, going through, uh, or, or would be in, uh, be on vacation, surprisingly, was called at the instance of the vice chairman. And the minority stormed there, virtually, quote unquote, to scatter the vetting. Hearing, they insisted that. They had not agreed on a date for the vetting. They insisted that even background checks together with the members of the committee from the majority side they were doing has been allegedly thwarted by the majority leader uh, who they have alleged had called this meeting or had asked the deputy. But let's watch what transpired where Dr. Kesela Tufosin and his minority chief with Kwame Govins and Goja um, have been speaking and as well a response from the vice chairman, who is the deputy, my majority leader. DC Minority Caucus. And you have committed a number of sins. And I will, I will tell you the sins that you have committed. Your first sin, you unilaterally wrote a letter to the nominees, inviting them for vetting without the input of the, of, the, of, the, of, of the appointment committee. That's your first sin. And I have your sins. Sin number two, your, all your sins. Your sin number two, you wrote to the, nominee, uh, the, the nominees. Hmm? Setting Wednesday 13th, Wednesday 31st, after informing them that we are waiting, Wednesday 31st without our input. Then number three, after we met as a committee, your, your third son, after we met as a committee and agreed that we will do this vetting before we are recalled so that during the recall, we will take them. You unilaterally, again, again, no, I'm, I'm enumerating all the sins that she's committed. Your, 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 a number of sins. And then you, you inform them that now you have shifted the goalposts from the 31st that we even, we even we agreed to Tuesday. And going forward, you hold it and submit the report to, to the House. Madam, Madam, this is not a banana republic. We cannot joke with this, rep this democracy. These are some of the things that we do and we, the democracy elsewhere, they lose them. We will protect this democracy at all costs. You are putting somebody into a constitutional office until the age of 70. 
All what we are asking is that advertise for a minimum of 14 days, invite memorandums. So far, you have advertised for four days. At a date where colleagues, I'm not a lawyer, colleagues requested judgments and other things where we can all go through the CVs and everything. And then we are told that the majority leader came back and rubbish all that, that we have done, including his members on the committee. Because he was busy hosting ECOWAS, he has gone to drag ECOWAS meeting, which is supposed to be in Abuja, to his constituency. So that all that we have done doesn't appear to him as a good job. So he directs that the chairperson call a meeting midnight. So members of the media, I consider this meeting as an illegal meeting to put together members of a legal community. How can this be? So nobody in, on, this pan, uh, on this team is against any judge. In fact, we actually want more of them to be, to be vetted in a very decorous and respectful way. I'd like to suggest that we sus suspend sitting and then we'll revert back to you when we are ready. Suspense. I do that. I join. Sorry. I join. Let's Suspend sitting no, and then we I'm engage. Sorry, we are not again. suspending the system. Let us adjourn and let's go and we have a meeting. We will suspend this meeting. We will agree. Mr. Speaker, we will not agree to any suspension. Look, we are not. We are not. Let's take a vote on it. Please. Let's vote on adjournment as opposed to suspension. Honorable leader. Honorable leader.